Okay, guys, um, we're going to do an appropriation of um, uh, Grindhouse, which is 1970s B movies. Uh, whoops, and uh, Broad uh, and uh, Broadside, which is sort of Victorian Gaslight, is another name for it. So these are all my scanned images. I'm going to hold down Shift as I select all of them. They're all going to open in Photoshop now. Uh, here they are. Some paintings I did of varying quality. And I'm going to go File, New. And I'm going to go Document Type, International Paper, A3, which is 297 by 420. Make sure it's in color. And the resolution should be about 300 pixel per inch, which is good. Okay, there's, there's the document. I'm going to go to the the one that I used as a background, go Control A. And if I ever say contra Control, in this video, I am referring to the pretzel sign on your Max. So, Control A to select all, Control X to cut. Get rid of that, that's scrap paper. Um, go to my document, go Control V, and it's a little bit smaller. And then I'm just going to go Control T to make it fit. And it's a nice fit. There we go. Cool. That's kind of this nice border. Which I thought would be kind of cool. Now because I painted it with my hand, it's not exactly square, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a, of room. Uh, that looks okay. It's kind of a weird effect, but you kind of want that. I mean, that's that's the beauty of doing things by hand is that they're not totally 100% mathematically correct. So anyway, there's my background. All right, and the next thing I'm going to do. What should I do? I'll get this scroll in. So if I just go image rotation. 90 degrees clockwise, that's how I wanted it to kind of look. With the, um, go to the layer and take the padlock off, and go to the magic wand tool, and it's going all the way around it. There's a couple of exceptions where I've got tape, or where I've got some mistakes in painting, and some... Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. And you can go delete, or you can go control X, but Anyway, there it is. So that's my that's my banner, going for a sort of Victorian look. Uh, actually, whoops, it's not supposed to be there. I'm going to show you another way of adding it. So if you right click on the lay on the layer here, you can go duplicate layer. Where do you want it to go? In a new document, in these other ones, or untitled one? I want it to go into a titled one because that's my A3 document that I'm putting everything. If I close this. It will be there in untitled one. See, there it is. Now it's way too big. I'm going to go Control T and I'm going to change the size of it a little bit. In fact, I'm going to go uh, Edit Transform. I'm going to go Warp. And I'm going to stretch this over here. This is useful if you want things to look a bit into a totally new sort of shape. There we go. That looks a bit better. I'm going to put this one at the top. There we go, that's cool. Um, okay, now I'm just going to do this to all my paintings. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, press the padlock off, which unlocks that background layer, and I'm going to uh, magic wand it. Now, in all of these, I did a rough yellowy background in all my characters. And then when I did um, uh, the magic wand tool, it kind of like has this weird ripple effect around them. And that's what I want. I'm going to go delete now. And then I'm going to drag these guys into Untitled 1. This is a pretty big painting, so they're going to have to be a lot smaller. And it gives that ripple effect around them. So I'm just going to do that to all the to all the paintings. Okay, so um, this is another painting I've done. And um, I've taken the padlock off. I've magic wand around it. Go delete, and now there's nothing around it, which is cool. And I'm going to drag this one into Untitled One as well. This is another big painting. Control T to change the size. Don't quite know how all these women are going to fit in yet. I'll figure it out in a second. That's scrap paper. And then I've got um, this painting I did. I'm going to do the same thing. Delete. Oh, get rid of the padlock first. Delete. Okay, now it's purely just, it's kind of this weird shape where I just did some rough yellow background. 
uh, painting. Drag that into Untitled 1 too. Yeah, it's a massive painting as well. Alright, cool. And it has that cool ripple effect, which is kind of what I wanted. Uh, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Kind of looks like a pirate map. Some people hate it. I kind of like that look. Anyway, um, so that's scrap paper. So let's figure out what we're doing with these figures. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show you something. I'm going to double click on the layer and I'm going to do an outer glow. Ooh, that's not going to work. Oh, I see. I've got a little bit of paper around there, which I don't want. I'm just going to get rid of that. Double click on it. See if I can do an outer glow. Just a, just a soft one, not, not, not a big size. You can you can see around the, the figure, there's a sort of a... If I do a massive one, you can see that. And if I decrease the opacity, that it's super obvious what's happening. I just want a little bit on all of them, just to just to separate them, lift them up off the, the background. Uh, those women can stay there. Oops. My five. My three. I don't know where I'm going to put these guys. Make them a little bit smaller. I'll make them as small as the other woman. Oh yeah, and the nail biting thing. I don't know where I'm going to put that. So if you get too many things, you don't know what to do with them. So if you're lazy and don't do much, it's, decisions are easy. Um, so um, layer five and layer three, I'm going to move those together, and I'm just going to move them down together. Because now we've got the problem of getting the, the text in, and what are we going to do with the text? So we go back here, and this is all the cool text, which has to take me ages to do. And undergrease clock code. So there it is. Uh, I used the crop tool just to get rid of all my mistakes where I was like seeing how it was going to come out of the pen. So Anyway, so what I've got is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different types of text. And I used 5 different types of text because I thought that was a good way of showing... Uh, Victorian gaslight sort of things, like those old 1900 sort of posters that had hundreds of different types of fonts in them. So, what we're going to do, go to hue saturation, I might, mm, that doesn't make too much difference because it's not color. Okay, try something else, image adjustments, threshold, so that turns it into a, to a really strong uh, graphic. I don't want to do that too much, just a little bit. There we go. And now when I go select color range, remember to take the padlock off, unlock it, go select color range, and then I'm going to choose all the white and delete it. And now it's purely just the, the text, it's just the black. So I'm going to keep that open, I'm going to do social anxiety first, I'm going to pretend that that's like the, the name of a movie, like a pretend movie. I'm going to go control X, it's just taken out the black. I'm going to go here. And there's social anxiety. I'm going to put it up here. I don't quite know how I'm going to fit this in. Hmm. Maybe I should make this smaller. Yeah, I think I will. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. Uh, paralyzed by paranoia. That's my next bit. Cut it out from here. Put it into here. Where can I put this? I guess I can put it here. I was going to go for a kind of a cross layout, like have the two women and then this at the bottom. But I almost feel as if that's too, too ordered. So I didn't, when I was drawing this, I didn't use a line and it's kind of like floating around. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So layer 5, I'm going to move up a little bit. Layer 3, I'm going to move down. I don't know, I'm kind of figuring this out as I go. Layer 4 is going to be on top, so I'm going to drag that right to the top. Then I'm going to put that there. Uh, 
That's kind of interesting. It's kind of a cross still. It's kind of like a T. What if I put this over here? Um, I might flip that her around. So edit, transform, horizontally. I think that looks better somehow. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Plus, um, there's some of this text. A nightmare turned real. I want to have that right at the bottom. So I'm going to put that in now. Because I know where I want to put that. Nightmare turn real. I might put it into two lines though. Oh wait, hang on. I might have a nightmare and then turned real. Move it to the top so I can see what I'm doing. Cut it, paste it, and put it underneath. Tap it up a bit. And ten and nine together I'm gonna to move down here. So it's kind of like where the last thing in a movie poster would be. Now what I can do to that, I'm going to merge those two together and then I'm going to double click on the layer and I'm going to add a glow to that. Whoa, that looks terrible. <laughs> uh, just a little bit and not much size. There we go. See how it just kind of pops it up from the, from the background a little bit? Might do the same with Paralyzed by Paranoia. If I can click on it. Layer 8. Double click on it. Add a layer, uh, drop shadow, kind of the same approach, just a bit, so it's a little bit pinker around it. Now I've got two more things to put in. I might put whispered comments as she passed by on one line. Put it at the top so I can see what I'm doing, so I have no idea what I'm doing if it's underneath stuff. So I'm going to put that onto two layers again. Uh, two lines, sorry. Two lines. Whispered comments as she passed by. That looks good. Merge those layers. Control T to just sort of look a bit, make it a bit more obvious. Control T to stretch it out. I might have that higher and this next one a little bit lower. Too aware to ignore the subtle glances. Okay, let's cut it. Don't need this anymore. That's scrap paper. Alright, too aware to ignore this one. Alright, that looks good to me. So 13 and 14, gonna hold them both down with shift. Merge layers. And that can be like lower down. Control T, stretch it out. So now it looks like a real... I mean, the text kind of looks like um, a 1900s Victorian sort of or earlier um, sort of ad because it's got all this crazy type of t text um, but it's got all these 1970s sort of like influences in terms of the poster I quite like the layout on this now and the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, put a glow on that one as well just to pop them up a little bit okay cool I'm happy with that now uh, looks pretty cool so now I'm going to go file, oh no, actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to layer, and then I'm going to save this as a PSD, alright, so that I can um, attempt to save it in different ways later, but the layers will be separate if you save it as a PSD, if you save it as a JPEG, everything's going to be flattened together. But if you want to print it, it has to be from a JPEG. And um, the Mac Labs in at school, it's best to... Uh, to flatten it as, and save it as a JPEG and open it in preview and try to print it from that. Okay, so that's what I'm going to leave you with that one. So um, that's another approach. But um, if you don't have enough elements, you've got to go back and like do some more painting, do some more drawing, think about what you're, you're missing out uh, so that you've got everything together. And remember that the next development will just be slightly different, you know, it's an improvement. So. An improvement might be something as subtle as uh, swapping these two concepts around. Uh, or uh, putting the commentary like this. I mean, like, this would be... This would be... If we if we move things around... Okay, so I just move things around. That could be as much as a development. Up to you. So, uh, yeah, good luck.